So carotid artery is the main blood vessel which feeds the brain. It takes blood to the brain. Once there is a blockage in that area, it can reduce the blood supply to the brain and cause symptoms. Another issue is when there is a severe blockage in the carotid artery, the blood flow becomes very fast or turbulent in that area. For example, when a stream passes through a narrow area between large rocks, you can see the water becomes very turbulent. Now, when the blood flow becomes very turbulent in the carotid area, then it causes further blood deposition or platelet deposition or clot formation in that area. And these small deposits of clot can break off and go into the brain which we call as embolism. So whether it is because of the reduced blood flow or because the clots form and breaks off and goes into the brain, it can leads to reduction of blood flow to the whole or part of the brain. So this causes stroke like symptoms for example, weakness of one part of body, numbness of one half of the body, eye vision which may come and go, vision loss in one eye. Sometimes it also manifests by a lack of balance, lack of able to say what you want to say, inability to understand what somebody else is saying. So these symptoms can last for a very short while when we call it transient ischemic attack. That means which is very transient reduction of flow or when there is a big area of damage, it can be permanent and when that is where we call it stroke of the brain.